Hey guys, and especially Ruby, because this is definitely a response to your video where you are quite obviously pissed off, not only at what happened in California, but also to a certain complete idiot who um, we'll talk about in a moment, but yeah, Prop 8 was upheld in California, and it's too fucking bad. It really is. Um, it's just going, it, it once again just goes to show that for all those assholes who keep talking about, oh, Obama's in charge, everything's going to change now, everything, no, it hasn't. We're still barbaric. We still got a lot more work to do before human beings are finally treated like human beings in this country. Homosexuals are still being fucked over just like blacks are still being fucked over, just like immigrants are still being fucked over, and so on and so forth. So, this is just another example of it. Now, I don't really need to address many of the points you raised, because even in your rather passionate and angry state, you've already covered everything really, really well. There's not much I can add. But I wanted to address that one idiot that really pissed you off. Crazy. And I'm not going to bother adding numbers. Crazy is good enough to describe him. I'm wondering how many people besides me find it incredibly disgusting that it's a black guy saying this shit. Now granted, if you've seen my videos um, responding to Star Nexus before, I already explained to him that race really has nothing to do with stupidity and bigotry. You're going to find people from all walks of life coming after you. But even having said that, it's still disgusting to me for any minority in this country, especially with everything that's stacked up against us, to then turn around and try to say that it's okay to discriminate against another group of people. And the only thing you have to stand on it is an old book that has been constantly rewritten over and over again and has been shown by smart people that it's erroneous and full of contradiction and full of inaccurate statements. So. I want to talk specifically on people like him. I've been meaning to make a video on this particular subject, and the only reason why I haven't is because I knew I would be getting one hell of a backlash for it. But I've been pushing my luck already, and I've already gotten slammed several times, I've already gotten vote bot, and I know that there are people out there that hate my guts already, so what the fuck do I have to lose at this point? Now, before I say this, I know that there are going to be people who are offended that I don't mean to offend. So, for those, all I can tell you is that I'm sorry and to pay close attention to what I'm actually saying rather than what you think I'm saying. This is not against religious people per se, but it's against the idiots who don't actually think about the history of their religion and what it entails and how they must evolve their religion with these growing times if they're ever going to be staying current and relevant. And they also have to realize what their religion actually says about them when they follow it. Now, this is just my perspective, but I have always found it very, very curious that minorities, particularly black people, are so adherent to Christianity in this country. Even with the limited amounts of history that we have about our people in here, you know how selected it is. We only get, we only hear about a certain things about our history in this country. Well, I shouldn't say ours. My parents are Haitian, so I have a separate bit of history. But black people, essentially, in this country, are taught a very limited history about, you know, what they've done in this country. They always told that they were slaves until they were quote unquote free by Abraham Lincoln and that things were somewhat hunky-dory until, you know, they realized that they were still being discriminated against and in the civil rights era, Martin Luther King supposedly helped everything to be okay and now we're, everything's hunky-dory and the racism is pretty much gone we're better people now. You don't really hear about the struggles, you don't really hear too much about what really went on or about many of the people who helped them, you know, fight the fight. You have to go to a college level course for that and even then, you might not get the whole story. But one thing that is still told is pretty much how Christianity was used to help keep black people as slaves. In fact, it was used to justify their treatment as slaves and for keeping them down as slaves. So, in light of that, as a kid, I have always found it kind of weird that knowing this history and knowing how this religion was used to keep them down, you will find some of them who not only will back this religion up to their dying breath, 
But then look at you cross-eyed if you happen to state, no, I'm not Christian. No, I don't follow that stuff. Especially if you're black. You don't know how many times I've gotten other black people looking at me as if I was some type of demon troll because I didn't bow down to the cross like they did. But that's because I read books and they apparently didn't. I apparently studied history and they apparently didn't or have chosen not to remember that part of their history. Now granted, I know there are some black people who know this part of their history and say, yes, I understand how this was used to keep us down, but that's not what I'm celebrating and I'm worshiping a different aspect and I'm using it to help bring people together rather than tear people apart. And I respect that. But I know that they're not the types, like this crazy fuck here. He and people like him, I consider to be slaves. And I understand how offensive that may sound, and I'm expecting backlash from it, and all I can say is, think for a moment. You wanna know why I say I consider him to be a slave? Because he's using the same, the same type of rationale that was used to keep his fucking ancestors down, he is now using for another group of people, and he doesn't see what's wrong with that. So that means if he was a slave during that time period and another person came over and told him, we're not supposed to be treated like this, we need to leave. Well, the Bible says it's okay for us to be slaves. So he's a fucking slave. He'd be the same type of person who would keep that rationale because the book tells him so. He's not the type of person who's smart enough to realize that if he's depending so much on the New Testament, then the fucker that he's actually following, Paul, actually says that a lot of the Old Testament is pretty much invalid even though Jesus never said that, but that's a whole different topic. It's funny if you said to him, so why the hell are you still eating pork and chitlins and shit like that? Oh, well, it's okay, I don't have to eat that stuff, I don't have to follow the Jewish law because Jesus renewed all that. So why are you hating gays? Because they fuck the faggot! That's what, that's what, um, that's what God said to do! I thought you said that the Old Testament wasn't valid. They love to pick and choose. They're just simply looking for somebody else to step on. Because they themselves are constantly stepped on, and they kind of like it that way. The Bible tells them to be put in their place. So he's a fucking slave, still, in this day and age. Someone like him really needs to be beating the shit out of, and while he's getting the shit kicked out of him, this needs to be said to him. Think back to when your ancestors were being treated like shit, and working for no pay, and on Sunday, they would go to their little shack of a church, and pray to whoever they were supposed to be expecting. Oh dear Jesus, dear Lord, please stop the misery that's happening to us. Please let the whips and chains stop beating us. Please let us one day be free. Let the suffering end. Let us one day be graced by your presence and pleasures. Meanwhile, across the way, slave owners were in their nice, well-built-up church. And the slave owners there with all his other slave-owning buddies. And they're like, thanks, Lord. Thank you very much for them slaves. We had a good crop this year. Keep the things going. Keep the slaves coming in. Keep the profits coming in. It's keeping me rich. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, the fucktards out there who are with crazy in their camp, I ask this question. If there was a God, who the fuck do you think that he was paying attention to? Who is he listening to? Who is he blessing? Black ancestors were getting beaten the shit out of in this country for over 400 years. Did God come and save them? No. As J. Ru the Damager once said in his song, Ain't the Devil Happy, look to the sky for your savior. He won't save you. He didn't save your forefathers. And he didn't. It took a freaking war that wasn't even truly about slavery if you actually look at the true history. They didn't really care about you. Lincoln didn't want to free you motherfuckers. The only reason why he did it was to hurt the South. And then even after that, blacks are still getting mistreated, not just in the South, but in the North as well. Just ask Malcolm X, most of the racism he went through was in the North. If they were truly free, there wouldn't have been a civil rights movement. And much of the discrimination was being done by <laughs> Christians. And they were using their Bible to justify those actions, especially against intermarriage which they would say was an evil thing to happen if a black and white person would come together. Much like you bastards are saying now with homosexual marriage. You're a stone age group of motherfuckers. Period. You have no... The intellectual arena is not your place. 
And again, I know that there are going to be people jumping down my throat for saying that to another black person. But we have to be able to identify when someone's being stupid and it goes beyond race. When someone is being a complete fucking moron, they need to be called out for it. And when someone is being a bigot, they need to be called out for it. And when someone is being a complete slave, they need to be called out for it. This guy is still thinking with the type of thinking that helped to keep his uh, ancestors enslaved. And if he had any sense of dignity, he would feel a uh, nothing but burning shame for it. But he doesn't. And that means there is no fucking hope for him. Or anybody who is like him. 